Hello and welcome to another Sideshow First Look. Today we're looking at the Tusken Raider 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian. Now we see that classic Star Wars box design with both the flat and matte colored black. We have a great photograph of the figure here, that embossed silver Star Wars lettering leading down to the cigar band, which has other uh, photographs of the figure in multiple poses. We're going to lift off that box lid and underneath Hot Toys gives us an additional great photograph of the figure in about the first pose we ever saw Tusken Raider in. And we're going to lift that off, and we have our figure inside. You have your additional hands and bandolier in this top tray, and then your main figure and his accessories there. Let's lift off that plastic and take a look at it real close. You have an amazing figure right there in the center with such incredible paintwork, detail, cut, and so on that. His rifle, two different gaffy sticks, the macro binoculars, the black melon. Underneath is going to be his display base, swap out hands, an additional bandolier. I need to take him out of the box and look at these things close up. Here the figure is out of the box. The great leather work on both the light and dark colored bandoliers. You've got the utility belt in the middle. Wonderful texturing down on the robes. Two different gaffy sticks giving me lots of options. His long rifle, the macro binoculars. I love the little black melon here. A swap out bandolier to give me different looks. All different types of hands from gripping, pointing, gesturing, and fists, and then that desert-themed base. Right now, I want to take a close look at each one of these pieces. First up, we have a gaffy stick that's a little bit different than we saw in the original film, where it has a mace-like look here. Great metallic paintwork, wonderful wood grain. But then take a look at the detailed hatch carving down around the handle, giving it a really cool look. Now this is just the first of two gaffy sticks. Let's take a look at the other one. The classic gaffy stick and great paintwork and design again on this. Look at that texture and detail right there. Now he also comes with a third weapon, his long rifle. This long rifle has some really great paintwork and design and detail. And then look at that paint application and the intricate design that's on the handle, but also runs down the length of the stock. This right here is all going to be done in leather, individually punched little holes. Then you have the little metal clasps on either end so you can sling it over the shoulder of your figure. Here's his macro binoculars. Does have that glossy lens and kind of a matte finish to that metallic gray bit of weathering. The lens is there and you do have that faux leather strap that will go over the shoulder as well. Now you have an additional bandolier done in that light brown color. Great little metal straps, all individually created. Now this one here, you can swap out and over with a little Velcro tab over the figure to give you different versions of the Tusken Raider. We got to see the Tusken Raiders drink and hydrate with the black melon cracked open here with that glossy interior right there. A great little accessory to throw in. Now he comes with four sets of hands. Out of the box, he's going to have a relaxed hand. These are going to be the fists. Each of these hands are individually wrapped with actual fabric. Now we also have the pointing finger, as well as one to use with the long rifle. And a set of weapon holding hands for those gaffy sticks, all done with actual cloth wraps. And lastly, we have our desert themed base. It is textured and has our nameplate right on the front. Here's our Tuscan Raider portrait. Now all of this on here is all sculpted, incredibly painted, little metal horns or tusks and front. It does have a great leather look. This is all painted and sculpted right there. Tuscan Raider has such a great look. The outfit on this is so many different types of fabrics and colors and looks, even though they're all in those earth tones. We have the neck right here, which is all that wrapped fabric. And then we have the little neck apparatus there. You have two of the different bandoliers in a lighter and a darker leather color. This one here kind of looking like it more holsters things, this being more the pouches. Then we have a lighter colored one. This is also made out of the faux leather, light colored utility belt. And that goes over a wraparound fabric belt. 
the outer cloak here is the darker color and there is wire running down the sides to be able to give you some action poses. Now if we pull this down to show the inner, you'll also see on the back how the bandolier here has Velcro and the waist has Velcro as well. So when you're swapping out and giving it different looks, these are the two points that you're going to do that in. You also have that neat little metal buckle right on top. Incredible attention to detail. Looking down here at the arm, you can see that that again is all hand wrapped, even down onto the palms of the figure. They've done age and dirt down into the undercloak, particular attention to the base and that tattered edge of the outer robe. And then we have those wrapped boots. Now these are all sculpted and painted. They're more of a three quarter boot height. And that design goes all the way underneath. Okay, let's take a look at the articulation. Okay, the head is going to be a ball joint. You have a lot of range of motion and that scarf is gonna hide any joint that would be visible there. Go down onto the shoulder, smooth and easy, goes to 90. Forward motion, straight up, and goes a good distance back. Double joint on the elbow and the traditional wrist peg. Now be cautious when you're moving this around because remember these are all individually cloth wrapped. So take a little extra care when doing that. You're also gonna have the butterfly joint here on the shoulder to move forward and back. Now onto waist articulation. You get a good bend forward and backward. Twist from side to side is not impeded by anything. It also has a rock back and forth as well. We move down into hip articulation. I'm gonna kind of lift these upward to show that we get a good range of motion to the side. And you can turn that leg as well. The knee joint, also double jointed. Now for here, it is a sculpted boot, but you are able to pivot that giving you a good range of motion as well. And here again are those two places that are Velcroed for removing the utility belt and swapping out the bandolier to give you a different look to your Tuscan Raider. Okay, I say we put them in some poses. This has been a first look at the Tuscan Raider six scale figure by Hot Toys. Now to find more information about this figure, follow the short link below. And be sure to tune in to a future episode of Unsealed and Revealed, where we're going to take a deep dive into this figure and all of his posabilities and possibilities. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.